Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the aggregate transformation in Azure Data Factory. It is a very simple transformation but it is a very useful transformation. So let us discuss the aggregate transformation and then we will do a practical. So with the help of the aggregate transformation we can perform any kind of the aggregation like sum, mean, max, count. So it is similar to the SQL. So in a SQL, if you had to perform any aggregation, so what kind of the query we write? We write a query like select maximum salary from table, right? So like that we do. And also if we had to group, so we also try to mention the column name and we try to group by a column we do, right? So here also, if you had to perform any kind of the aggregation, we have a sum mean max and count function and also we have a group by concept so with the help of that we can find the aggregation let's take an example so that practical we are going to do so this is my data set this is my source in this source i have a employee id their name their salary their address their location and their email and what actually i want to find out i want to find out in india how many employees are present in usa how many employees are present so for that what we will use we will use a aggregate transformation suppose you have a scenario where you have to find out in india what is the total salary people are getting in usa what is the total salary people are getting so for that what we will use we will use aggregate function like sum suppose you have to find out in india what is the maximum salary of the employee and if you have to find out what is the minimum salary of employee getting in India so for that what we can use we can use a aggregate function so these are the simple function like if you know SQL it is a very simple the similar similar to the SQL here also we are performing the same operation so let me open first I will show you the data so this is my input container in this input container I have an employee file I will show you the so this is the file we have what we are going to do we are going to perform how many employees are there in India and how many what is the total salary of people India is getting what is the total salary people are getting in India and US so let's do that so I will open my Azure data factory so I will come to this uh, data flow I'll click on the new data flow we are going to create a new data flow click on the add source First we will create a data set so click on the new where our data is in blob storage so I will select that click on continue my file is csv file so I will select that continue click on the new link service so here we will select the, our subscription our storage account after that click on the create link service we have created so data set creation and link service is a similar process which we have already done in previous video click on the file path select your file employee csv click on the ok click on ok now if you want to preview your data click on the data preview first you have to on the data flow debug and then you can click on the refresh you should be able to preview your data you can see I am able to preview my data I am able to read my CSV file now what we will do we will perform an aggregation so for that click on the plus you can see we have option aggregate so click on that in aggregate first you have to give the any name aggregate one if you are giving so it will show aggregate one after that you can write any description what is incoming stream it is a source one so I will select that after that we have to group by so based on which particular column you want to group so this is my data set in this data set I want to find out how many unique employee are present in India so I want to group by based on the address column so I will select the column name as a address name as address after that go to the aggregate now here we can write any aggregate operation so add or select a column so you can give any column name so we want to fi find out employee count so I am giving the name as a employee count now here we can write a expression so for that click on the open expression builder and here you can write a any kind of the expression suppose if I, I have to find out the unique employee so you can see if I type count I am getting a different option count means it will count all the employee 
we want to find out the distinct employee right so click on the count distinct and after that based on which particular column you want to count I want to count based on the employee ID now save and finish if you'll go to the data preview option let's see it's working fine or not it should group by a address column and it should give me a unique employee count you can see it is giving a address and the employee count it's working fine now I also want to find out the total salary so what I will do click on the add add column I'll give the name as a total salary and here expression we can write any expression so I'll go to the total salary I'll just write a sum of salary click on the save and finish now you can see I'm getting one error type mismatch so what actually happens whenever you read any CSV file so it takes all the column as a string format so go to the source go to the projection you can see all the column it is treating as a string so first you have to convert the salary into the integer so click on this click on the integer employee ID also will convert into the integer and now we'll go to the aggregate you can see sum of salary it's working fine if you'll data preview you should be able to preview your data sum of salary it is giving right now let's find out the maximum salary so click on the add column go to the bottom give any column name I'll give the column name as a maximum salary and here also you can write a expression maximum salary so for maximum we have a max function you can write maximum salary save and finish it will work and you can preview your data so like this if you have to find out any aggregation with the help of the aggregate we can do if you have to find out the count if you have to find out the sum mean average everything you can do that and after that you just have to click on the your sync and in the sync you have to create a data set you want to store into the blob storage as a CSV file continue you can use the same link service and uh, in output folder I want to save click on the ok click on the ok my data flow is now ready click on the new pipeline we just had to drag this click on the publish all click on the publish once the publish is completed we will try to trigger it so that is how actually we can perform my aggregate uh, operation I hope you got the idea thanks